Welcome back to another episode of Your Daily Real Estate. I'm Tristan. This episode's brought to you by my book, Real Estate Prospecting. Pick it up on Amazon if you've read it. Please review it. Now let's talk about something I was reading. I'm rereading the book, This is Marketing by Seth Godin. And I brought it up two or three days ago. I don't remember. And there's a section in this book I'd totally forgotten about that I highlighted. In fact, I want to read it to you. And I want you to think as I'm reading, I want you to think how you can do a better job as a real estate agent. Ready? Here we go. This is in the book, page 82. And the heading is, no one is happy to call a real estate broker. Not really. Despite what the broker is hoping, this is often This isn't often a joyous interaction. They're afraid, nervous, relieved, eager to get going, anxious about moving, stressed about money, thinking about status gained or lost, concerned about the future, worried about their kids. The broker is a speed bump on the way to their future. And most of what he or she says is merely noise, a palliative, because it all costs the same anyway. According to statistics given to me by the National Association of Realtors, more than 80% of the people who hire a broker do so by choosing the first person to return their call. Given that, here's what I'd ask a broker seeking better How will you choose to show up in the world? Will you reassure and soothe? Will you probe and explore? Will you claim that you're better, faster, more caring? Just as no one needs a drill bit, no one needs a real estate broker. What they need and want is how it makes them feel to get what a broker can get them. And the same thing is true for waiters, for limo drivers, and perhaps you. Like real estate brokers, most of us do our most important work when we traffic in emotions, not commodities. I thought that was a beautiful paragraph, one that really puts things in perspective and it makes you think a lot deeper because if I'm thinking here uh, where he says, just as no one needs a drill bit, uh, no one needs a real estate broker, what they need and want is how to make them feel to get what a broker can get them, right? And what I always tell you is that How are you making people feel? People will remember how you make them feel. People will always remember the process of how they felt in getting what they want. Was it easy? Did you simplify it? Was it complicated? But you, you stayed cool. You stayed calm. Did you explain the whole process in a way that they could understand it and simplify it? What are they going to remember when people work with you? What are you helping them feel before, during, and after? This goes back to being a relationship-based business, right? Those are the people who will build careers. Those are the people who will be here long after the average or below average agent are gone. I'll talk to you tomorrow.